Uh, good morning, guys. It's your player upon the team, Kobe Game. We're back at again with another video. Hanging out in the shop. It's early as in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. But I could not rest after last night race. I could not rest after it because I was supposed to, I should have been at her run up that list. But all we got was the number 9, so. I don't even think we're number 9. I think we're number 10, actually, so. Whatever. That's how racing goes, I guess. But I'm getting the car ready to go to the shop right quick. I need to work on it, and I do not have enough tools or resources here to fix her because we did. We was running on six cylinders towards the end of the race, so uh, I guess that's typical. We went, I guess we filed out two spark plugs, shot too much nitro. We did put new jets in there, so I don't know. I'm, I got the front clip loaded up already, so I'm gonna just roll it into the trailer right quick, and we gonna get her hooked up and get out of here. I'm gonna get out to the shop early as hell in the morning, try to catch it before daylight gets down. I'm gonna try to start removing these plugs, figure out why I did file down, and we also have another issue. Uh, but I'll tell you all that once on the ride there. Uh, Oh crap! I'm mean, gonna have the gun up here. Right, boom! Uh, gun oh, this door here. I really need to put a winch on this door. All right, let me lock it. All right, let's get. Out. Let's go get to the shop, man. Uh, I only ride down. Tell you guys about the second issue we're having with the car. Uh, oh, let me pop the trailer off. All right, uh, reconnect. It. All right, man. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so last night when I got home, I talked to my girl about the race and everything, how it all went out. She was like, well, did that second pass when you re-ran that guy, did you leave on boost? I'm like, no, I never leave on boost. Because she said, okay, well, we probably got to figure that out. So we got, we ordered some four-link track bars to the whole rear end is going to be four-link now because I need to work with the power. So we got to figure a way to work with that power. Get most of it. We're putting too much power down the ground, but if I take it out enough, y'all saw what happened last time when we took too much power out. Well, so now that we see that, we get, we get a little worried, so... Next thing is, we have a nitrous leak somewhere I have to find. Um, when I made a pass, uh, I didn't pay too much attention to it. It didn't look like it was a leak. The leak probably was there already from test passes we was running people during the week before race night. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. But the leak is kind of bad now. Because, like, this morning when I woke up, I said, well, I'm going to just start the car up and run it right quick. Well, we had, I turned on just one bottle of nitrous. I got two in there. I just turned on one. Just to activate, just to activate, just enough nitrous to activate the first kid now. So we hit the first kid, and when we hit the first kid, all underneath the little scoop right there above the carburetor, all you saw was a big fireball come out and went boost. And when that boost came out, I knew something was wrong. So I knew it had to be a nitrous leak or something. So come to find out, I got a nitrous line cut. Okay. Well, I don't know how that happened. It could have just ripped from a pass or something, hit the ground too hard, bounced back one of the components on the motor, cut it. Okay. So that's all right. So I'm going to have to fix that. But well, after I check that, we bust a solenoid. So the solenoid is on a little middle bracket, you could kind of call it. And it has a, two wires going to it and then two pipings going to it. That little hose that feeds nitrous to it. Well, come to find out, I broke one of them. So now I got to go back and fix that. So now we got to do a whole delicate process on this motor. Early as in the morning. And still make a test here. So this is going to be interesting how this whole day is going to turn out. So I don't even know how this whole day is going to turn out to be honest with you. So as far as I do, we should play a part of Team Cobra Gaming. I'm kind of mad this morning. I got to go fix this motor. Let's without further ado, let's get on with this video. I ain't never had a pot to piss in Welcome to country living I'm taking what is given Fried chicken that's finger licking I was raised on past blue ribbon Front porch picking and grinning And as long as I'm here I'ma drink some beer And keep my country folks jigging And it show the city just what they missing Cooking greens up in the kitchen Asking us just how we did it Cornbread with the fixing Man you think we slipping Little shine and some fishing Take it out running and hog hunting Scare you like the diggin' Y'all probably all right, so we just put up to the shop. Let me try to park the truck. Y'all yeah, park right here. It should be good. Uh, actually, I can probably to make it easier to unload. So I ain't got to drop it on the street because with cops be chilling. I'll park right here. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Let's get this old girl loaded out right quick. Uh, come on. All right, man. All right, let's run up on the lift. We're gonna put a string on the lift because I really. I'm we'll just back her up because I don't really need to put her up on a lift to really fix what's wrong. I just need to get into the shop. Uh, uh, is that Willy Bar going to hit? Uh, 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 bump it up. All right, but <sighs> probably going to make a down run too after that to make sure there's no more leaks in it because, man, that leak is really pissing me off. 
Man, y'all, well, that was such a big fireball. I tell y'all, bro, that fireball was humongous. All right, let me just pull up just a little bit All right, right there. All right. All right, let's go grab some tools right quick. Because first I want to do is pull out them two cylinders, out, them two spark plugs I know are misfiring because I need to figure that shit out. Uh, let me grab some socket wrench. Uh, T says me. I'm gonna get a socket to go in there. I probably should just grab the damn, the damn cordless one, but fuck it, I'll do it old school style. All right, let me start taking this out. Cylinder three plug. Wow, okay, so this thing is fouled down like a mug. Ooh. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. Hold up. All right, hold up, y'all. Let me go and call my buddy right quick about this, because this is bad. All Holy right, shit. so while y'all, while I was on the phone with my buddy, he told me, uh, he came and actually picked up the carburetors, because he said something wrong with the carburetors. My air to fuel ratio was all jacked up, so he's taking it back to his shop, because he has a machine he could put it on, and because it's dual carburetor toes to match dual carburetors up you really need to have a machine to really make sure both of them are in sync perfectly so he took his that to his shop and then i took off though i'm take, i'm fixing the nitrous kit right now nitrous kit is partially fixed i just have to reconnect the electrical to it and we also took the headers off because i did not want to scrape them thing up so right now we got all that off let's also uh we could probably rip the motor out do i want to rip the motor off Ooh. I might as well since we got everything else off right now. Let me put a uh, let me put a motor off. Give me one second, y'all. I'm gonna put the camera down and try to get this motor off. All out right, here. there we go. So I took the whole motor out right quick. I just the only reason I took them off because I really wanted to check this clutch and everything and the training right quick. So let me just expect that right quick. Hold up. All right. She says me check. All right, the clutch is good. The only reason I did that because I really wanted to know how the clutch was. I wanted to know how the train was acting because I just make sure anything nothing was wrong. I'm not going to hold deep into the transmission because I not feel like putting a train in the Apple car day. So let me throw the motor back in right quick and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, guys. So while y'all was going, my buddy actually showed up with the carburetor. So we got the car was back mounted. Now all we can really do is test fire. Now I'm on the headers back on. Uh, let me make sure the computer's plugged in. Uh... Alright, the computer is plugged in. Uh, let me make sure my battery switch is on in the back. Hold up. Alright, so the car is on. Now we got power going to everything. Should hear the fuel pump going. Alright, yep. Alright, let's start this sucker up and see what we got. Alright, she sounds good. It sounds like she's running good again. Let me rev her up right quick. Yeah, she sounds good, no. Let me call my buddy and thank him right quick. Let me call him right quick. Hey, Dwayne. It's Kobe. What's up, buddy? Yeah, man. I just mod the carbs and everything back on. I just did a pass on. Yeah, I'm not smelling that gas no more. That's most likely what it was. Well, look, I'm going to get off the phone. Yeah, I got to go make some dino runs and try to make a test hit right quick. All right, buddy. Then. All right. Love you, man. All right. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Let's go and put the thing on the dino right quick, and let's try to make us a quick run right quick. Ugh. Alrighty. Uh, uh. Can we fit? Can we fit? Alright, bet. There we go. I love this dyno just because it has the big ass fan right here and we can run the fan just like that. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go and put the straps on the dyno around the car so we can tie it down. Okay, give me one second. Alright, guys. So we're hooked up to the dyno now. Let me make sure the computer's on. Flip that. Alright, bet. Alright, let's go make a pass and see what happens, baby. Let's get it. All right, that was just on motor. Let's flip on the second kit of nitrous now. Woo! -woo! All right, cool deal. All right, let's make one more pass just to be safe right quick. I'm going to flip on both kits and all kits and nitrous. We're going to do a whole pass right here. So let's just get all three kits and nitrous ready to go. One, two, three.
There we go. That was a good ass pass right there. All right, let's go see what numbers we got right here. All right, so on motor, we're running 1500 on motor. That's a bet. That's a bet. That's what I thought. And then with the two, three kids tonight, nice, just stacked. Well, with the four kids tonight, nice, just stacked on top of that, we're pushing a good two nine twenty twenty nine hundred. So, and that's really on. That wasn't all the kids pushing. We could still put bigger jets into the nitrous to make it go faster. So that's a big bet. I'm so happy about that. Well, that's amazing, y'all. So we actually got the car actually running so perfect right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, baby. So we know we got 2,900 at low with smaller jets in it. So it doesn't shoot a big shot nitrous at it. Well, so that's a good thing. Let me go and grab my beer that I need to put in the office up there so I can put it up there. That's a good thing. So as long as we could have the room to improve it with their... With small jets, we can go up to bigger jets. That's the great best thing. So let me grab my beer right quick. So, all right, I'm gonna close the door. All right, so that's one good thing. When you can increase the jet size of your nitrous to actually go faster, that's a bet. Uh, we'll go make some test hits later on today, probably. So I'm gonna let the I don't wanna make no test hits in the middle of broad daylight because cops be tripping out here. So we ain't gonna do that right now. I'm gonna load up everything up. Throw my beer up here. Probably gonna take a nap up there because I do have a bed up there. I love this shot because the <laughs> actually, bed. Cause I'll show y'all the bed. Huh? Let me take y'all up there. I'll show y'all the bed and everything, right? Because this bed is pretty bad. Right, I got a little bed right here. Got a sofa. Got a TV. I actually could sleep here if I want to. I might actually sleep here to be honest with y'all. But yep. Yeah. So it's your player part of Team Cobra Game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. And as always, go back and check my last video. Was I running hot? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. It's player part of Team Cobra Gaming. As always, don't forget to smash like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.